uh, all incredibly incredible people here for taking care for us and for invitation uh, which was uh, transferred via Jaya Prakash which I respect very much uh, that he really tried to put two worlds together in such a uh, special place as uh, um, this is where we are now. So uh, I would like to uh, show where I'm coming from because Slovenia <coughs> is not so known uh, and uh, it is, but if we can still compare it uh, with uh, India. Uh, Slovenia is part of the European Union, is a member of the European Union. Uh, it's on the north part, north, the most northern part of the Mediterranean coast. Uh, and uh, on the other part, it is linked with Alps, uh, which are like European Himalaya. Uh, and there is a panonic uh, 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 plate uh, where, uh, we, uh, where uh, it, it is then going uh, in direction to, uh, to, the, to the east, uh, to uh, Poland, uh, Russia, and Ukraine, and so on. Um, on the other side, uh, that's Italian, uh, that's Italy and Italian culture, and Slovenia is really geologically and in all other aspects, uh, it's a mixture. So we uh, normally uh, have to speak several languages, we have to adapt uh, uh, very much, then we respect uh, uh, also uh, people who are coming to us and they are uh, uh, very much welcome. Uh, we have 2 million people and 47 kilometers of, uh, of the, the sea coast. Um, India uh, has 7,500 kilometers of, of the coast and if you calculate it a little bit, Slovenia has 2.5 centimeters of the coast per capita and India around half a centimeter. So it's comparable. Huh? Uh, but there are other aspects which I would say uh, which are not. Um, here I showed some uh, small beauties. Our capital is on the uh, on the right, uh, and also on, uh, the, and then Alps and uh, one lake, the plate with the church uh, on the island uh, uh, is there. Slovenia is otherwise very religious country. Uh, we are mo uh, mostly Catholic, but there are also uh, uh, Orthodox uh, then. Uh, uh, the Islam and so on, so we are a melting pot. And on the high right uh, is one a animal, which we call it human fish. Uh, it is not fish, it is not human, uh, but it is very interesting because the skin is the color of the, uh, of the human skin, it lives in caves uh, and it can live 80 or 100 years and it can stand without uh, food for more than two years. So it's met the metabolism is very, very specific and it also shows the power of nature. Otherwise it's amphibian, um, let's say similar as frogs or similar organisms uh, and it is there for ages, and it is one of the let's say, protected animals in Slovenia. As I said, uh, it was a challenge which Jaya told me that we have, uh, that I, he expected that I'm talking about my fields. I'm a biotechnologist, mainly uh, a guy who is uh, dealing with cell cultivations for clinical trials. Um, helping also some in xenotrans, not in xeno, but in transplantations. I'm also an uh, organ donor and so on, so because it means, it, I, mean, I think it is very uh, honorable uh, and good way. Now I'm too old, so nobody would like to have my organs anymore. Uh, uh, but still, I, uh, I'm showing my goodwill for it. Um, but, uh, here, we, you have to use technology properly for the, uh, uh, for the uh, uh, human, uh, humans and uh, for the whole world. For all these, uh, let's say, values which we heard, 
uh, when we are taking care for uh, human lives, uh, human quality of life, uh, and also each technology brings uh, a lot of challenges, like uh, there was a definition uh, of, um, uh, how you say it, uh, difficult challenges uh, or uh, dynamic challenges. <laughs> Um, on this picture is one of uh, our employees, the head of our processing unit, uh, that's a, a very intelligent young student, like I, here I see a lot of uh, similar ones, uh, and uh, she was the mother of the all cell lines and cells which we have in our laboratory. So, in reality, when we ask ourselves why we are doing all these things, why we are uh, trying, uh, what we try to do in our life. So, generally, uh, I collected things, uh, we don't want to die, so we want to live forever. Theoretically, it can be really boring, you see a lot of movies from Hollywood or somewhere else. Uh, if all your friends will die and you will stay alone, is this really nice? You know, then you see all these vampires, old for, uh, which are more than a few thousand years old, sucking uh, human blood. But in reality, you know, nothing is changing for them. So it's a boring life. So you have to be happy. Huh? Well, these people who who are living forever, they most of them they, are, they show that they are not happy. Uh, of course, they have to be young. You know, it, uh, it means you have to look young. Huh? And you have to be wise like an old person, which it was not touched by dementia. So these are all quite challenging things for technology, uh, uh, which we have to achieve. And it's, it, this is not so easy. And let's say, okay, if we, if we accept, we will die. Okay. But then what we are afraid of, uh, or, we, or what we don't want, we don't want to suffer. Uh, not just the physical suffer, you can get some medications and so on, uh, and most of the pain you can take, uh, but you know, this life is then not uh, really acceptable. I know my, my mother, when she was dying and she was in pains, she didn't want to have, uh, uh, to have sedatives because she told me, I would like to feel when I'm dead. And uh, so, a long and healthy life is something uh, what we want to have. And this uh, technology, which we are also part of it, uh, we are trying, uh, trying to achieve. Uh, and we were quite successful. You know, uh, it means humankind was quite successful. Uh, when I counted, uh, and we had a discussion also with Thomas uh, years ago about the lifespan and increases of the lifespan uh, in our part of the world, uh, I checked and uh, average um, um, lifespan in Slovenia, uh, when my grandfather was born, uh, it was in uh, 1865, was 38 years. Why? Because a lot of children died, uh, people uh, uh, died because they, there was no simple operations, there was no blood transfusion and so on, and there were a lot of um, uh, 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 the diseases which you can prevent by uh, uh, vaccination. Uh, and the second part was after the Second World War, uh, war when antibiotics came. So vaccines and antibiotics were really, let's say, increasing the life uh, uh, lifespan in our area very much. And of course a lot of uh, other medical technology and other things uh, which uh, also increased, but they mainly increased the quality of life. Because if we are aware, let's say in Western medicine, when we calculate or see uh, what are the medicines which we are using and pharmacy producing and selling, most of them are symptomatic uh, uh, drugs. What does it mean? If I have a headache, I don't heal the, the cause of my headache, but I would like to get the root rid of my headache. And if, it, if, if it's gone, I'm satisfied. So I'm not really trying to heal myself. Or uh, uh, something similar. Antibiotics are different. With antibiotic you really heal a certain person. Yeah? So now we are also searching for other parts which are staying young, 
look nice. Uh, and here JF has a lot of practice. Uh, he knows uh, he has to be a psychologist and also a, a very good, not mechanic, but the guy who is an artist, uh, who have to know medicine, aesthetics, have to see what will happen with certain person and also, um, let's say, read their psychology. And it is, uh, we, all, we think that there were mostly men, uh, women, uh, uh, but in other uh, last times I heard that mostly men would like to, to see, to be, to look young. Uh, and now you can just imagine why they want to, uh, to, to look young, at least from the outside. But the real thing is uh, that you uh, have to be uh, also young from the inside. If you have low energy, if you uh, are, uh, you could just, uh, let's say, have a vision of, of the young person, but deep inside you are old, you uh, are not satisfied, and also then also this phase and all this will be gone very soon. So with, with the technology which we have, we are trying to get new and new uh, um, uh, um, drugs and uh, also saving human lives, uh, uh, taking care of the cancer, cardiovascular diseases and so on. We calculated uh, that in Slovenia in 20 years, uh, one third of the people will die of cancer. And cancer will be mostly a chronic disease if you know how to handle. Uh, and uh, but what we don't want is all this what is coming with the current drugs for, for cancer. We don't want to see uh, suffer, we don't want to lose hair, we don't want to vomit, we don't want all this what is coming with, with it, so we are searching for better solutions. And here cells are something uh, which are bringing new hope. Uh, uh, of course these technologies are new, and they are bringing with it, uh, with it also new challenges. It's not that just you transplant cells, you put them in, in the body and then the patient uh, will, will wait uh, what will happen. Uh, you, you need something more. Uh, and there are questions uh, which uh, Dr. Anand will also try to, to, to point it from the, from the other side. Mm, uh, but uh, according to the legislation and regulations which we have in the world, and each country signed it, even more than there are countries in the United Nations, you wouldn't believe, uh, is how to perform and protect uh, patients in clinical trials and how to register uh, drugs uh, uh, in the same way. These are so-called good practices. Uh, good manufacturing practice, so it means how you handle the cells, uh, that if you get the source of the cells, that also the donor is protected, that you are not misusing his information, uh, his material, and so on. And, uh, of course, uh, 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 later on, uh, uh, that you are also not uh, uh, buying and selling the cells and organs. This is something which is, let's say, in Europe and in most of the, the world, uh, absolutely unacceptable. Uh, but if you want to be sure that uh, 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 patients won't, uh, uh, let's say, suffer, uh, we have to perform so-called preclinical research. So it means before you can use something uh, on, on the human, you have to make, you have to be sure that it will be safe, that it won't make any harm to the, to the patient, also for long term. And uh, it, it be, it's becoming more and more personalized because what is good for me is probably not good for you and vice versa. So there are some so-called disease models uh, uh, which are then coming from the laboratory to the animals and you have to test animal models on animal models uh, how, um, uh, how, this, how safe are these drugs and also how effective they are. Uh, here we are uh, coming also in the field of ethics and protection of animal lives, you know, because animals are, uh, uh, we don't, they, they are, uh, we harm them, and if you ask them, they won't agree. And on the other hand, we are not here to develop drugs which uh, can eradicate diseases in mice. You know, this, that's not our intention. So, uh, this animal testing is, uh, will be reduced uh, as much as possible and will be replaced 
by so-called disease in a dish, organoids, and so on, which can uh, take over uh, some of these um, uh, questions. And if you do all this, that becomes terribly expensive. And now, when we are talking about, let's say, equal opportunities, uh, uh, and that everybody uh, has to go to the school, have right to, uh, to uh, be in the school and be uh, equally, at least equally treated, now here you have separation of the uh, popul uh, population where, can you, let's say, in India, you afford to have a drug for, uh, let's say, for cancer treatment, for hem uh, hematological cancer treatment, where you will pay half a million dollars per patient. In Slovenia, is unacceptable, and in India, I'm sure, too. So, something has to be done that this is not so uh, uh, expensive. But if you want to uh, obey the rules, it is, not, it is just not possible. Uh, and uh, then uh, you, uh, you have to, uh, to go and uh, develop something which is, let's say, uh, a little bit less expensive, but also at the same time effective. And also a little bit uh, change the rules uh, if you see that they are too tight. Uh, but on the other hand, in the populations which can afford, let's say, some of these uh, treatments, population is decreasing. So let's say uh, we have a negative trend of population in the European Union, especially also in Slovenia, we too, we are less and less. Uh, my uh, aunt is living in Kenya and she went there in, uh, in 1968 and in Slovenia we have 2 million people and in Kenya they have 8 million people. Now Kenyans are close to 100 million and we are still 2 million. So, you know, this is... This is, these are really drastic changes, and this is uh, in our lifespan. And, we, and also this population, which is, which is rest in Europe or in development world, it's, it's old. Again, what we were talking before, it's not healthy, and somebody has to pay for, for, their, uh, uh, for their health, uh, and also for their pensions and so on. So that's a big, big challenge. Uh, uh, so, instead of being uh, young and healthy, we are old and sick. Huh? Uh, and what else, uh, uh, what we want? We want to, to, buy, uh, uh, to buy our security. We have to invest in the insurance company uh, that uh, my life will be happy and uh, uh, I will be, it will be prosperous. Uh, uh, and it's coming to the, uh, 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 so far that it makes no sense. So, Western population is searching for something else. Uh, we, we are seeking for other, uh, other part which is missing, and uh, the spirituality is like a user interface which uh, brings, uh, let's say, material and non-material worlds, and the, the transcendence uh, brings to, uh, to, the, uh, uh, to, to the real daily, uh, daily life. We can achieve it through several, uh, several ways. One is definitely art, what we are doing, it's music, literature, painting, and so on. Then the others who practice more religion, but they would like more and more, um, uh, more and more, uh, let's say, uh, truth, definite truth and nothing else, you know. But, you know, then the, the others, and the, quite a lot of them, especially young ones, go to meditation, yoga, and also sports. And so, is there a, a conflict with science and religion? Uh, why? Because science tried to explain in the specific way uh, how with experiments, with the logic, uh, logical things, uh, 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 the manifestation of life which we see. Uh, and religion uh, is uh, giving more or less definite answers, uh, 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 which are then, at least in Europe, they were in conflict uh, uh, in the past. Uh, let's say, if you will be in Europe 200 or 300 years ago with a smartphone, you will definitely uh, burn on the stake. You will be, you, know, you will be a witch, you know, so, and it has to be eradicated. And also in the past, but if we are looking in our 
uh, religion, uh, the symbol, the symbol of uh, the uh, uh, half god who was bringing light to the humanity was uh, Prometheus. Uh, and Prometheus uh, and light was, uh, it means he enlightened people, so it means he brought them science and he was punished for it uh, uh, to uh, 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 that the, the bird was eating, eagle was eating each day uh, uh, his liver and during the night uh, liver, uh, liver were regenerated. And he's also a symbol of regenerative medicine. In uh, 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 Christian uh, religion, uh, the, uh, the, there is another one who was also uh, the light bringer. It's called Lucifer. It's a symbol of hell. It's the ultimate devil. Uh, and uh, so we ask ourselves, are scientists devils? Because we are bringing light to humanity. That's important to, and it, it, you cannot neglect this. So we, also the scientific community, have to bring ethics, uh, ethical issues and ways how to prevent that science will be misused in each, in one or another way. Uh, and, uh, but also this uh, ethics is changing during uh, time uh, and also uh, the de different developments and scientific discoveries. Now, we tried, uh, we were, humans were also, we have doubts, and scientists are normally, uh, uh, normal scientists have doubts and he does not uh, uh, believe uh, something just like that. So, there was also attempts, okay, th that's a literature, the science fiction from uh, 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 Borges uh, from uh, 1970s, uh, uh, that how you can prove that the God exists. Yeah. That's the way that you uh, see uh, in, uh, the flock of birds, uh, uh, sparrows or uh, whatever, and you know that uh, and because it's uh, in your imagination, uh, this uh, uh, just you know how much birds you see, but even you didn't count them, so you say there are more than one and less than hundred. And then you, you say, okay, uh, if God exists and God, God knows everything, He knows also how many uh, birds were in this flock. And uh, if, uh, and you know that if uh, there will, uh, uh, if nobody knows, then this number is indefinite. And if the, uh, 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 somebody knows that how much uh, birds is inside, this number is definite. We all know that the number in the flock is definite, so it means God exists. It's a mental play, of course, there are a lot of <laughs> mistakes, uh, but it, it, it sounds nice and see the attempts, how you would like to prove scientifically that God exists or that it doesn't exist. Then it's one very interesting guy, uh, uh, that was the way when I uh, it, uh, came in love with mathematics, it's René Tom from 70s. He was describing catastrophes, try, because he realized that people are thinking, uh, we don't understand the exponential developments, we, are, uh, we, are, uh, mm, uh, we understand linear developments. So uh, he was, uh, he tried to explain uh, when, how to calculate when the catastrophe will happen. And uh, uh, this you also, uh, I have it in my, somewhere there, it's a paper when you can show how the development in the life happens. So it means in one way, uh, in one way you see, uh, uh, let's say if you say that this plate is, uh, are all mathematicians, uh, normal, normally mathematic, uh, our teachers of mathematics, they had better knowledge, um, and they were develop, uh, developing uh, slowly but surely with better knowledge. And they were on this so-called equilibrium surface. But then also when they have a lot of knowledge, they started to speculate. So th uh, the knowledge was not so important, but what, how you have your imaginations, how you put all these things in combination. But then you are coming to the dangerous position, this catastrophic position, when you, when there is, uh, there is this, you know, dynamic part of, the, of this sheet of the paper. 
when you have uh, uh, something what is uh, uh, um, uh, very, uh, very acceptable and non-acceptable. Yeah, I will try. So the paper is like that. If you see. And in this way you get a lot of knowledge, in this way a lot of speculation, and here you, uh, you have uh, something which uh, makes sense, and here something which does not make sense. And if you drop as a mathematician downstairs, you can never come back again. So uh, the lower part you will uh, uh, be uh, not known anymore, or you will be in hospital because uh, uh, you will be mentally ill. Here you will be a genius who will get a Nobel Prize. And now the ultimate part, uh, it's uh, also, it's from Arthur Clarke, it's from Tibetan Lamasari, when uh, the guys were for years uh, trying to write all the names of the God. They defined that the, uh, it uh, should consist from maximum nine letters, uh, and uh, the, when all the names will be, uh, will be written, uh, you know, uh, then the uh, world will stop to exist. It means it will go back to singularity that we are talking today. Uh, so, but they were practical too. So when the computer science will help them, why should they, let's say, write all these names? So they uh, ordered uh, IT specialists to write them and accelerate this. And uh, the guys who were there will realize, say, okay, what will happen now? If I will, the last name will be written, um, so it's better to run away before they will realize that the world will still exist. Then they went to the airport waiting for a plane to go, it was night, very nice, uh, um, bright night, uh, and a lot of stars, and uh, one say, uh, hey John, uh, now the computer wrote the last uh, God name, and then the other one said, Look, the stars are fading, so it means universe stopped to exist at this moment. So that's all for now. Thank you.